Welcome to Norma's Learning Corner, and I'm so excited to be here today at Stitch in Heaven to talk to you about the strip tube ruler. So that's going to be our learning session today, and it's absolutely one of my favorite rulers, and it will give you the most perfect half square triangle because we talked about that last time. So this is my method that I say if you want a surefire perfect half square triangle, this is the way to go. And you make it a little differently than, than you normally would think. So I'm going to show you how that you do this. And you start with two strips of fabric. And they have a chart that I'm going to actually put a link on for you from Cozy Creations to tell you the different sizes. If you want a certain size block, then you use a certain size strip of tube to do this. So they call it strip tube because we're actually going to make a tube. So we're going to put these two pieces of fabric together and this is actually five inches by width of fabric. So what I'm going to do is going to come over here and I'm going to sew it down one side the length and sew it down the other side. So we're going to make a tube so to speak. So that's what we're going to do. this tube and what I would suggest to do is to hit this with the iron um, to set these seams so I'm going to suggest that when you're at home but I'm going to go ahead and start and I'm going to start cutting so what you're going to do is you're going to put your ruler on six and a half and you're going to actually put the ruler not at the bottom of the fabric you're going to put the ruler the six and a half inch mark on the seam so you're going to put it on the seam when you do the strip tube ruler and we're going to cut around it just like that. And we're going to get one. I didn't do very good at cutting that. It's stuck right there. All right. And we're going to get one and then you pop that seam open and there is one of our triangles. Let's take a look at that. I think I have a six and a half inch ruler here. It's supposed to be a six and a half. How perfect is that? I'm going to tell you that this is the most perfect half square triangle you will ever get is use the strip tube ruler and use the strip tube method. So on this quilt behind me, it's called um, ribbon pillars and I needed to use a lot of half square triangles. Even though the pattern did not call for the strip tube ruler, Norma went and got her strip tube ruler. Now you notice that what I did was I flipped it over and I'm going to go with this seam now. Sometimes if you feel like that you're a little crooked you can move it over but I'm going to cut it, it's real straight so I'm just going to put it right on the line and cut this way. Sometimes I tell people if you're going to try and do this, that's fine. But who wants to cut like this towards yourself? Don't do that. Just flip the whole tube over and do this and just keep cutting. So you should get a total of seven out of this tube. So we've got, let me see, I've got one, two, three. That's a scrap piece. Let me flip it over this way and we're just going to keep going here. Six and a half. And you got to make sure you do that six and a half right on the seam. That's super important. So I have one, two, three. I think I might actually get more out of this one than I think. They have a chart again at Cozy Creations. And I'm going to give you the link to this and it'll show you how wide to make your tube and what size your half square triangles will be and where to put your um, ruler on the seam for you. All right, let's keep moving here and see how many we can get out of this. How fast is this? Now if you did draw the line, draw the line, go and sew a quarter seam like we talked about on the traditional half square triangles, how long do you think it would take you to make this many half square triangles? A lot, right? So this is a really cool method and I always, always use this method if I have 
I look at the pattern, if I've got seven or more, this is what I'm doing. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight. So we did super good. We even got more than what the pattern said we would get when we use with the fabric. So that's cool. So I wanted to show you that. This is exactly the same thing. I just want to show you that you can do it with all different sizes. This is a three and a half inch strip. And so I used the chart and I could tell with a three and a half inch strip that what I would do is I would put this on four and a half and that would give me a four and a half inch triangle. And so I can use a different size strip and get a different size triangle. So I wanted to show you that you can use all kinds of strips and get different sizes. How cool is that? I mean, I just showed you a gold mine. So the strip tube ruler is available here at Stitch in Heaven. It is $27.95, and so it's available to order, and I would suggest you all get one of those. Now, I'm not done yet. You think that that was cool. You haven't seen the coolest yet. So in the strip tube ruler, you get this little piece of paper, and it comes with the ruler, and it shows you how to make different things. So this is called the Daniela block, what I'm going to show you next. The Daniela block is where you take and you make a strip, but we're going to put two prints... I'm sorry, three prints and one solid. And when we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to make a tube and we're going to actually, and this is really cool for jelly rolls, right? Because two and a half inch strip is a jelly roll. So you get three prints and you sew them together and then you sew the, the print on one side and I'm going to show you because I'm going to separate them. And then you separate them, and then what you do is you press them towards the print. And when you press them towards the print, they nest when you put them together. And now they become four and a half this way. So you put them together right like this, and then you go sew a strip. So I sewed this strip already just to show you. And what I do when I make these, I cut them in half instead of with the fabric. It's like 20 inches instead of the 44. So now I have my quarter inch and I have my fabric pieces. So let's cut that. I want to show you what it does. So that is inside your strip tube ruler when you get the ruler, which I know you're all going to buy one. You have to, right? They're so awesome. And then we're going to put this on five and a half inches for our strip. I want to make sure. Yep, it's five and a half. So we're going to put it on the seam, not on the bottom of the fabric. And we're going to cut around it. And then I'm going to do another one. I'm going to show you what these look like. They are so super cool. Get ready, Stitch in Heaven. They're all going to be calling you. You're going to be, you're going to be selling a ton of these things. These rulers are awesome. All right. So I just want to show you the different blocks you get. You get blocks that look like that. Is that not super cool? And then you get blocks that have more of a plain look to them. So you get a, a mixture of blocks back and forth, the plain ones and these ones, because they have the strip that's the solid in the middle, and then they have more of the print on them. So look what you can do. This is called the Daniela block. So I put this together with these pieces. As you can see, I'm going to show you. I put this one here, and I put it was too much for me to have to sew all this together while we're here for this short video, but I wanted to show you how these look. And then I put this one here, down here, so you can see where I place them, and it makes the Daniela block. But this is with the strip tube ruler. You get this how to make the Daniela block. All right, that's really cool. Wait, I'm not done yet. I gotta show you something else that's really cool about this strip tube ruler. So we're gonna put that all to the side. This is called the lattice block. And the lattice block is a pattern I believe that you can buy online and we'll put a link to it that's Cozy Creations put together. And what you do is you use two solids and two prints. And you sew them and make the um, four and a half inch piece just like this with two two and a half inch strips and then what you do is you're going to press one towards the print and one towards the solid and so you can nest them so they're nested and then you put them together and you sew a tube so I didn't sew this tube shame on me but anyway I want to show you you sew it and you cut it apart at five and a half this is what it makes ta-da it makes the lattice block 
How cool is that? That's such a pretty block. That's called the lattice block. But you get varied uh, pieces from that. So when you get the solid pieces that are more solid, you make your border. So this is your border for the lattice quilt, and this is your block. So I'm going to tell you this is not a bad investment. Go get yourself a strip tube ruler and have fun and create some fun stuff. And next time we're going to talk about more half square triangles in multiples. I can't wait to show you some more. See you soon.